Hi, in this video we're going to discuss some of the things we really like about the Dyson V10 Motorhead Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. Now, first a quick word on the V10s. There are essentially three popular models. You've got the Absolute, you've got the Animal, and then you've got the Motorhead. The um, Absolute and Animal are almost the same machine. The Animal just does not come with that soft roller cleaner head, which is great for bare floors. That's kind of exclusive to the Absolute. The Motorhead also does not come with that soft roller cleaner head. In addition, the Motorhead is uh, more different uh, from the Animal and Absolute. Um, it weighs less. It has a smaller dust canister. It uses a slightly different uh, carpet cleaner head, and it also has less tools. Now, one way to quickly differentiate uh, what V10 you're seeing, if you see these red cyclones and a red wand, you're talking about a motor head. If you see purple cyclones and a purple wand, well, that's an animal. Now, the Absolute has a couple of different color schemes, but the most popular one we see, I've got an absolute over here, is this copper colored wand and the gray silver uh, cyclones. So now we've got the motorhead laid out here. So what do you get when you buy a V10 motorhead? Well, you get that handheld unit, you get the wand, you get a charging unit, you've got a couple of uh, tools. None of these are powered. This is a combo tool and a crevice tool. You've got the wall mount. We like that the tools actually fit and click into place in the wall mount, which is kind of nice. You've got this direct drive cleaner head. It's got one row of uh, soft brushes and one row of stiffer brushes. And you've got a manual and a warranty card. In discussing things we really like about the motor head, we thought we'd start maybe by discussing some of the good things that all the Dyson stick vacuums have in common. Now, one of the first things is that they're really lightweight. They all weigh between five and six pounds. They're easy to move, easy to pick up, and they're easy to maneuver. That cleaner head turns very simply when you uh, twist your wrist here. And I'll show you that now. It's just almost effortless to move the cleaner head on this thing. So. That's really nice. They're really kind of a, uh, a grab-and-go vacuum cleaner. You don't have a cord to deal with. You're not worried about finding a power outlet. You're not worried about how much cleaning reach you're going to have. Um, if you've got an area you want to do uh, just maybe a quick pickup, very handy for that. Maybe a set of stairs. So that kind of thing is really nice. We also like the fact that you've got washable filters. You don't have to buy a filter when it's dirty. And it's bagless, so you're not buying bags. The tools work well, and they all click fit into place. They're not compression. Um, you don't have to push the tool on or pull it off. Everything comes apart easily, and when it to comes together, or when it's put together, it's quite secure. So, for example, you've got that button system there. So, and the same here. This is the crevice tool. Clicks into place. Now, that's not coming off unless you press this button. So, that system is kind of nice. In addition, um, well, you've got your handheld here. I mean, it's, it's a two-in-one vacuum. It's a stick vacuum, and it's also a handheld vacuum. And you can just put a tool on the end of this, and away you go. Now, if you want to get that extended cleaning reach, well, you've, you've got the wand. You can put a tool on the end of the wand. Again, it clicks into place and here. And now you've got something that is really great for doing overhead cleaning. So they're very versatile, and we really like all of these things about the Dyson Stick Vacs. Now let's talk a little more specifically about the V10s um, as compared to the earlier series like the V6, V7s, and the V8. Now, one of the first things we like is the three power modes. Um, gives you a little bit more uh, granularity, I guess, a little more versatility than the earlier models. They only have two power modes, low and max. With the V10s, you've got low, medium, and max. And in max power mode, we like that these guys, the V10s, have very powerful suction. It's 151 air watts of suction. That's 51% more power than the V6 and the V7, and 31% more power than the V8. Now, we're just going to cut a quick clip in here of our V10 motor head on max power mode, dealing with a debris field on low pile carpet.
We like that the V10s are not too loud. Now we've got this digital noise level meter here and it measures peak decibels. We placed it three feet in front of the cleaner head of each machine, turned the vacuum on, went in the upright mode and took a reading. Now, actually the quietest of all was the V8 and that was followed by the V10, then the V7 and the loudest machine of all was the V6. We like that the V10s have a reasonable battery recharge time. Now here with your V6, you've got a three and a half hour recharge time. With your V7, another three and a half hour recharge time. Your V8, now they bump the size of that battery up. This is a five hour recharge time. And your V10, well, they managed to get that back down to three and a half hours. It has the same recharge time as the V6 and the V7, but it has a larger battery. Another thing we like about the V10s is the fact that they have three charging lights. Now, I can turn the vacuum on here, the charging lights are here. You can see that all three lights, I don't know if you can see it from there, but all three lights lit up. That essentially tells you that the vacuum has a full charge. When you're vacuuming, it's nice to have some idea whether you've got just a small charge or a large charge left. It gives you some kind of ballpark idea about how much runtime you have left in the vacuum. Also, when you're charging the vacuum, those lights light up as the vacuum charges. So you have, again, a ballpark idea of how much time left before you got a full charge on your vacuum. Now, with the V8, which I have here, you also have three charging lights. Um, however, the V7 here, one charging light and your V6 is the same as the V7 with only the one charging light. All the V10s have a HEPA filter and a sealed system. Now that ensures that all the air entering the vacuum goes through the filtration system of the vacuum, including the HEPA filter. And you therefore get only clean air exiting the vacuum cleaner. And your HEPA filter on the V10s is back here. And that just comes off. That can be rinsed in water. Um, so you don't have to replace it when it gets dirty and when it's completely dry, it just pops right back on the machine. Now, not all Dyson vacuums have a HEPA filter. For example, we've got our V7 motor head here. And you can see in the back of the V7 motor head, there is no uh, HEPA filter here. So I believe things like the V7 motor head and even the V7 Absolute don't have a HEPA filter. So it's nice that all of your V10s do. Now we're going to dig into the V10 models themselves and compare the motor head to the Absolute and the Animal. Now you might think to yourself, is it possible for the motor head to have any kind of advantages over the more expensive models? Well, in our opinion, it is possible and it does have some advantages. And we're going to start first by talking a little bit about cleaning. A quick word on cleaner heads. This is the direct drive cleaner head and it comes with the V10 motor head. This is the torque drive cleaner head. It comes with the Animal and the Absolute. If you get the Absolute, you also get this soft roller cleaner head. Now, the torque drive cleaner head, it's a little different than the direct drive cleaner head. One is larger, but it also has this slider in the front that opens and closes these two little gaps. When those gaps are closed, it tends to maximize the suction under the cleaner head. When they're open, the idea is it will allow larger debris to get under. Now, there's also a middle setting. You can see that these uh, cleaner heads are different sizes and they do act a little differently when you're cleaning. The first test we did was on carpet and we used this low pile carpet right here. Now, we created our own debris we have a debris made up of ground Cheerios, flax seeds, green peas, and chili flakes. And we measured a very specific of each um, one of those items. We use this very sensitive scale here to do that. And we combine them all to create the debris. We put that debris down in an approximate five foot long strip on this carpet. And we ran each machine over it in about a 10 second pass. Now we're gonna show a sample of that kind of test and uh, the bottom of your screen will be the motor head.
Now we're just going to cut to the chase with respect to results. As you can see in that last clip, the motor head with this direct drive cleaner head was picking up more of our debris on this low pile carpet. Now we would like to point out that the absolute, uh, the cleaner head was set in the middle and we've also done tests with it set in max mode, but it didn't make that much difference. We also did a, uh, instead of just one forward pass, we've done a forward pass and a backward pass with both machines. And yes, pickup went up, but it went up for both machines and the direct drive still outperformed the torque drive. We ran similar tests on tile, so a smooth surface. Now, we didn't run those tests concurrently. We ran them one after another. Now, we'll start with a clip that shows first the motor head, then the absolute. And now the absolute also comes with this soft roller cleaner head. So we put that on the absolute and ran that as well. Now we've got a whole lot of numbers in terms of pickup percentage and things for the test. Those are all on our website, but again, we'll just cut to the chase here. Now, I think the clip showed that this soft roller cleaner head performed the best. And, you know, we've done these kind of tests uh, many times uh, with this soft roller cleaner head, and it always performs really well. Um, I believe second is the direct drive cleaner head with the motor head. It outperformed the torque drive cleaner head. Um, on bare floors. That came as a bit of a surprise, but that's what we saw. We've run those tests multiple times with similar results. Now we're going to talk a little bit about vacuum weight, and we're going to step back also and bring in the V7 and V8 into this discussion. Now, the V7 Animal and the V7 uh, Absolute, 5.3 pounds. Your V7 Motorhead is 5.45 pounds. The V8, the Animal and the Absolute, 5.75 pounds. Now stepping into the V10s, the Animal and the Absolute, 5.9 pounds. The V10 Motorhead drops back down, 5.5 pounds. It's essentially the same weight as a V7 Motorhead. And having a lower weight vacuum is always kind of nice. It adds to the ability to maneuver and to move the machine around. The dust canister in the Motorhead is smaller than the dust canisters on the Animal and the Absolute. The Animal and Absolute have a 0.2 gallon dust canister. Your Motorhead has a 0.14 gallon dust canister. Now, this kind of has pros and cons. Of course, the con side of that is if you're doing a lot of vacuuming, the smaller dust canister is going to result in more frequent emptying. However, there are some good things about this. The smaller dust canister makes the handheld unit a little easier to work with. It's just smaller, more compact. Um, this is the absolute uh, handheld component. It's larger, a little more unwieldy. The other thing we found was it's easier to empty the motor head. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Push it forward, pull it back. Now, it's the same approach with the absolute. It's just bigger. And, in, and actually, in our case, we have broken this over the last several months. So you can see that that comes right off now because we pushed it a little too hard and cracked a little piece of plastic off the end. But we did find this thing harder to empty. Finally, the V10 motor head is the least expensive of the V10 models. Now it'll typically run you 400-ish. 
but if you want to get into an animal, you're looking at about $100 more, and an absolute is somewhere in the neighborhood of $200 more. Of course, prices vary, but that's ballpark. Now, those are some of the things we really like about the V10 Motorhead. There are some things about this vacuum that we don't like, however, and you can see those in our video entitled What We Dislike About the Dyson V10 Motorhead. Thanks very much for watching.